Hey YouTube frogs, brief explanation on how I conduct account reviews on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash xlice. On my Twitch channel, there's a channel point redemption reward available on certain days. For 20,000 channel points, I'll review your Genshin account. This takes around one to two weeks of watching or lurking the stream. On these certain days, I will only do three, and the redemption is on a first come, first serve basis. As such, I don't review a large amount of accounts. I focus on quality over quantity. Those that are interested but can catch the stream that often, I highly recommend watching existing ones already on the YouTube channel. A lot of my viewers learn from existing reviews and end up saving their points. How they work. With your consent, I will log on to your account if you are a PC or mobile player, and I will interactively review your account on stream. If you are a PlayStation player, then you send me an image compilation of everything and I don't log into your account. I analyze your characters, weapons, artifacts, and I see what I can change to help you progress in the Spiral Abyss, or to help your units output more damage or building compositions if Spiral Abyss is not your priority. Depending on where you're at in the game, I'll do my best to rework your account to get the maximum potential out of what you have by rerolling artifacts, changing team comps, and more. Reworking happens only with your consent. Lastly, I will never reach out to you first regarding these account reviews. Please be cautious. And that's it. Hope you YouTube frogs enjoy this video. Hi YouTube, how's it going? It's been a while since our last account review, eh? I am here on Dika's account, AR57 Frog, and they have a little something to show you. They are a Xingyan main, as well as, that's right, an Amber main. There's no way. Dedication, what the? All right, well, YouTube frogs, you guys can definitely see that uh, we have some dedication here. This is a triple crowned, C0 Amber with pretty nice stats. Honestly, did not expect triple crown, but that is a bold move. But yeah, so this is our first account review for 2.0. You guys can see here that this is the new 2.0 Abyss with the Nobushi and the Kairagi, as well as the Mago Kenki and the Ruin Avengers. They only need assistance with 412. And also I'm going to be taking a look at general artifacts and just general comp building, right? We're going to focus our efforts on building Xingyan team for this abyss, as well as building Amber team. Okay, so let's get started. What about Xingyan's talents? Xingyan is 869. Relatively decent investment, yeah? Very high investment. This is the true high investment, yeah? So, this is their roster. They basically have all the units, right? This is five by six, 30. 30 out of 34 units, I think, or 33 or 34. I don't remember how many units we have, but basically all of them, but they chose to maximize investment in Amber and Xingyan. So, let's first build up a floor 12 team comp. I'm actually gonna show you guys, chat. This is what he started with. This is what he started with to get four stars so far. So he chose a John Lee Mona official Beidou build and a Kazuha Xingyan Rosaria Bennett. You didn't use Amber here, but do you wanna use Amber? I want to use Amber in the first half. Okay, actually, I think we can do uh, a, an Amber comp in the first half. Second half, we're gonna be doing Spin Yan. First half, can we do a mono pyro focused Amber build? What I mean by that is, depending on your investment, we can have a triple pyro plus Kazuha team. With an EM build Kazuha. Oh, you're using Dark Iron Sword right now. There are so many things that I'm seeing for the first time today. YouTube Frogs, if you don't know, this Dark Iron Sword, you can only get one in the game right now. It is from a vendor in Liyue. And he leveled it up to level 90. And this is what it looks like. I've never seen this weapon leveled to level 90. This is, this is amazing. Look at how many things we've seen in this account. What the heck? So, uh, EM based Kazuha build. Uh, Lava Walker. Did you not farm Beardessent? I'm guessing you don't have Beardessent set. Okay, you don't have Beardessent set. That's fine. All right, so before we get into it, that's totally fine because you're doing a pure pyro build. Lava Walker is actually a unique Kazuha build because you don't have any Beardessent and you're not farming Beardessent. It is actually pretty high damage output for this particular comp. Uh, what's your constellation for Xiaoling? Oh, you know what I'm going to do, right? So for the first half, we're going to have a mono pyro team with Amber as the main focus. And of course, as you would expect, I am pairing Kazuha with Shaolin and Bennett. <laughs> I don't think it should be to anyone's surprise. We're going to remove reactions from this comp. We're going to utilize Kazuha's ability to buff pyro damage to maximize all three team members worth of damage. Bennett will be here to apply additional attack to the team. Xiangling is here to apply additional pyro damage bonus with her C6 and longer Pyronado with C4. This is basically, you would imagine typically Xing Chou would be here, but who needs Xing Chou when you got Amber? With Kazuha running Lava Walker here, you're actually gonna be able to do very high damage output. And in the second half, do you want to use Venti or do you want to use Superconduct? Because we're doing a Xing Yan Zhongli. Now the question is, do you want CC from Venti 
or do you want to uh, add superconduct to your team? Because we only have two more slots, right? Like I can do a official Diona, which will add shielding healing, or we can do a Venti. Official Diona for 12-2 Magu Kenki will definitely be stronger because Venti has basically no purpose in 12-2, right? This depends on how difficult 12-1 is because 12-1 is definitely going to be the most difficult floor for you as it is in general for everyone, right? If you can do it, then you should have no problem in 12-2 and even less problem in 12-3. So I think this is a perfect setup comp then, all right? Do you give me free reign to switch up your artifacts completely and build just this out? The reason why I'm doing this, and for those YouTube frogs out there, I'm doing this because I respect the commitment and the investment from the reviewee. They have triple crowned Amber, so you might as well get her to a face where she can 36 star the Abyss. Yeah? All right, so those are the comps. Let's take a look at your general gear. For Amber, we have Scoured Harp, and generally the stats are actually very solid. I don't think you need to change any stats here. You have a good set of recharge. You're on four Wanderers Troop for increased charge attack damage, which I think is fairly powerful. That's a 34 crit damage with an extra roll into energy recharge. So this could have been a 40 crit damage Wanderers piece, right? This would have already been super strong if this was five recharge, but this has an extra line of recharge. So that means this is only four rolls. Uh, very nice piece as well with a recharge to assist her Q rotation. Off piece for the 10 crit rate. This, this is where it becomes copia. You know, these pieces kind of, these two pieces kind of balance out. Not gonna lie. If you added these pieces together and divided their stats up, you, yeah, you'd have two pretty solid pieces, but this one's, yeah. This one is the one that could use. It's on set though, right? And you need more crit rate. So the reason why you did this is because you don't want your crit rate to fall below 60%, which I respect. This could be a massive power over this one. We could sacrifice seven crit rate for like, who knows? Okay, let's try this one. Hold on. Let's try this one, chat. If this rolls crit rate, it could be a near perfect piece, yeah? close uh let's try let's try this pyro piece yeah our damage bonus this one first roll oh my god okay this is a four line start piece with a max roll crit damage it's fine balance as all things should be just hit crit damage once more i'm not asking for anything just hit crit damage once more please Please, 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 please. Okay, we take it. Crit damage or attack percent are both perfectly fine here. Crit damage or attack percent. Let's go! So with that piece, we drop to about 58 crit rate, but we're 223.9 crit damage. That is a, that's a buff. Do you want to balance your stats out more and use this piece instead? If you did this, You'd have 80, 175. I, I think both are perfectly fine. It depends on whether you want to spam your charge attack more or you want to have more consistent damage, right? They're both very, very, very strong builds. Amber is at her best possible stage right now. We definitely do want a little bit of recharge, especially with Kazuha, because she will be using her Q. She will be using her Q, yeah. Second order of business. Spin Yen. We have R1 Skyward Pride. I mean, her stats look insane. 2k attack, 1.4k defense, 57 crit, 137 crit damage, and 167 recharge. I mean, this already looks fairly powerful. Because we're in high tide and her Q is only 60 energy cost, if we can drop her recharge down to like 140, basically no recharge substats, you would probably get a little bit more damage out of her. This piece, I might be hard to swap out. This piece looks possible to swap out. Depends. That is an off-piece set. 12 crit rate, 12 crit damage. Physical damage goblet with 29 crit damage. And then crit rate mask with no crit damage substat. I don't think we're going to have available pieces to swap out here. <laughs> is this for real? All right, chat. This could be a disaster, by the way, chat. We're going all in here. I'm going to toss this one instead. That's not what we wanted, chat. That's not what we wanted. Okay, this is this is worse than her existing piece. I was wondering if we could hit the god stat, but we didn't. I'll probably feed this into something that we re rework for maybe one of these two pieces, yeah? What about feathers? That's the one that she has. 
I'm liking this one. If we do this one, what does your ratio look like? 65, 130. It's basically exactly one to two. All right, I think that's the only small change I made, okay? The only thing that we changed was her feather and we made it so it's a little bit closer to a one to two ratio. We dropped eight crit damage for 6.6 .6 crit rate, which is worth, okay? How's your Bennett doing? Bennett looks good. Especially with this new tide, right? Okay. Two no bless, that's fine. Don't really need a buff if you can't find it. Um, especially based off of your substats. Do you have do you have enough no bless pieces to swap over or no? I feel like we can probably steal pieces from units that you're not using and, and, and make this work. The thing is, is he doing much damage in the causal comp? I think it's mostly Xiangling's damage, right? Like he has good stuff, but I feel like the 20% attack would be a little bit more beneficial considering how much other buffs you have. What if you swap this piece over? And then you swap this piece over to Noblesse. Beto's piece. It's not terrible, right? What if you did this? I don't think I don't think you lost anything by me switching that. You lost 13 crit damage and like 10 crit rate, 10 energy recharge. But with high tide, low tide, I don't think this is gonna be a problem at all. But you gained four Noblesse for your entire team. I would say this is worth. Wait, you don't need to swap, man. You already have this level 90. Don't swap it. This is actually really pog. I you sh you should definitely beat the abyss with this weapon. That is such a giga chat move. You've already done so many unique things. I love it. Let's do it. All right, four piece lava walker. How, how are your uh, stats? Um, every every stat he uses here: forty two em, seventy nine em. It's a perfect piece for him. A seventy five em. Kazawa does not change. There's nothing that we can swap here. Actually, his stats look fairly good. You have 600 EM while maintaining 50 crit and 100 crit damage. So he is buffing He is buffing your team by a solid 24% while still doing damage himself and having good recharge. Okay. So your Q is going to basically always going to be up. Nice. Oh, Xiangling. Xiangling is really important. She can be a lot more offensive than this. Like you could do Staff of Homa or Jade Spear Xiangling. The reason why is because you have triple pyro on your team, so you're not gonna ever be asking for recharge, right? If she was your only pyro, then this would be perfectly reasonable. But because you have three other pyro or two other pyro members, right? You're not gonna be losing energy at all. Let's rework this to more DPS base, yeah? Let's make her Giga Chad. All right, these are the beginning artifact stats, YouTube frogs, and she's two crimson, two wanderers. We'll see what we can make work here. First thing is, I wanna maintain two crimson first. That one's okay, but can we do better? Uh, both of those pieces could do better. Try it out. Yeah, that one's gone. Possible. All right, chat. Let's just pray that we don't hit HP percent, okay? Boom. Okay, this basically it became basically became the same thing. Chat, it's not that bad because her eight, if we use Staff of Homa, she'll scale off of the HP percent when that we give her. So it's not that bad. All right. That's fine. <laughs> I think we actually lost prowess there, but chat, we're just gonna put on the staff of Homer right now just to make it look better already, okay? We lost stats there, but but don't don't let the YouTube frogs know. It's fine. Can we get rid of this mask though? This one. Let's use Beto's for now. I think that's all we have, yeah? Oh, I, I think we still need energy recharge. Okay, we'll use this copium piece. Yeah. I think that's better. Staff of Staff of Homa Xiang Ling with ER timepiece, 50 crit rate, 160 crit damage, 22k HP. She's kind of pretty giga chat. <laughs> yeah, that's an upgrade. You gained like 60 crit damage. We just switched the weapon over. Uh, saw a little bit of artifacts. So now that she has no bless instead of wanders, seems fine. Yeah, that's good. Xiang Ling's in a good spot now. Who else do we need to look at? Zhang Li, right? For Spin Yan comp. How's your Zhang Li looking? Favonius Lance. Spin Yan, Favonius Lance. I think having one would be good because I don't think you have recharge on that team, right? We have a rainbow comp, right? We did Spin Yan, John Lee, Fischl, Diona. No bless tenacity. Seems good. HP, Geo, crit rate. Okay. I think we're good. I think that's that's fine. I don't think we can switch anything for John Lee here. He's just a shielder for the most part, anyways, right? And for CC. Uh, let's move on to Diona before we move on to Fischl. And then that should be finished. 20k HP, 3163. Her recharge is a little bit overkill. If you have HP percent here, that would be better. Do you have an HP percent piece here? That works. Agree, chat. You're never going to use this. Get rid of that one first. Oh, not bad. Got one crit rate line. Yeah, it's better than before. So she now has 22k HP. 
with 180 recharge, which is actually really good for uh, high tide, low tide now. Okay. That, I think, is the only change we need to do because I've already seen all your other noblesse pieces. They are fine. HP, HP, HP. Seems good. Okay. And then lastly, Fischl. Do you just want to leave her as is? Because 4 Thunder Soother doesn't benefit this comp at all, but, like, I don't know if I can swap out the entire... all four pieces. This is going to be pretty impossible. I don't think I can swap all four pieces out for just generic damage, right? Do you even have Thundering Fury? You have two pieces. That's actually pretty solid. That's doable. How's your current Electro Cup? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, no, I'm leaving this on. Okay, can, can we switch the... Let's switch, try to switch the mask, though. Because the mask is offset, but it's trash step, substats. Quite wild stats. All right, is there any other remaining piece that we can swap over? Oh, we could use Mona's piece for now, but let's see if we get, grab anyone better. Because Ganyu probably has your fixed set. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay, cool. I that's it. That's it. I think pretty solid, solid team comps, yeah? I think we did get some minor upgrades here. I think the biggest one was Xiangling. So I think now, after we made those changes, let's see. First half. Amber, Kazawa, Shaolin Bennett. Second half, Spin Yan, Zhongli, Fischl, Diona. All right, chat, let's actually set up the Baron Bunnies first. Agree? Oops, wrong switch. Okay. Oh my god, the damage is insane. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, I got hit still. I tied? Give me my ulties back, please. Thank you. Oh my god, the damage, chat! Okay, you could definitely do this if I- if, if you're not a pig like me, you could definitely do this in 90 seconds. Okay? We're just gonna complete this so that I can test the second half. Yeah, you can definitely do it. All right, finally spin the inside, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't eat. Chad, I don't think I'm doing this right. Mr. Ko would not be proud of me. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this right. Did I even hit them? No, I did. Okay, not bad. Oh wait, that one's not dead yet. Alright. High tide, please. Please high tide me. No, I got interrupted. Okay, if you play better than me, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man. I got no clue what the.
<laughs> I have no idea how to play Xing Yan, man. How about this, chat? Let's try the Xing Yan comp in the first tab. Agree? Oh my. Oh my. Damn, she ain't got a fucking slap. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn, that's wild. Okay, we're at the next stage, boys. <laughs> Am I low tide right now? I cannot tell. Am I low tide right now, chat? Oh, I was low tide. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> chat, it's kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh shit, no! No, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it! No, it's okay. Anyways, you know how it would go. You can do it in 90 seconds. I didn't realize I killed the other guy really quickly. But yeah, I think it's cool. I think that your Amber, Kazuha, Xiang, Ling side could probably do it faster, right? But I think that's good. Okay. Xingyan does not look pleased with my gameplay. And I respect that because I, I do not play Xingyan well. She looks very disgusted at me, chat. Anyways. All right. I think that wraps things up. How do you feel, Dika? Was that okay? Everything looked good to you? I think those team comps are definitely suitable. 12 1 is definitely going to be your toughest obstacle. Your teams do a lot of damage. And you definitely can see how it works, yeah? Your 12-3 is literally super fucking easy. Don't even worry about 12-3. You're gonna 3-set that one for sure. 12-2, you will have enough damage from Mangu Kenki, I'm pretty sure, uh, with Xing Yan's rotation, yeah? Thank you, all right. All right, chat. YouTube frogs, that wraps up our very first 2.0 account review. Thank you very much, Dika, for letting me review your account. This is an AR-57 frog. They are a Spin Yan and Amber main with a triple crown amber that you guys saw hope you guys can see that mono pyro totally works with kazua because of how much he buffs the team yeah i think that's uh, pretty solid so i hope you guys enjoyed this little account review our first one for 2.0 uh with the new floor 12 and new floor 11. if you did enjoy this account review video consider liking the video and subscribing to the youtube channel really appreciate it helps me a lot and supports me tremendously i really appreciate it take care you see twitch frogs saying goodbye over on the bottom left if you guys want to see these done live, twitch.tv forward slash x slice. You can see them all there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.